Hey everyone, welcome back where we are testing every single mask on Amazon and today we are testing USA made masks that we found on Amazon, which is really cool because we know a lot about those and today we're looking at North Texas PPE. Very specific, fun story, we thought about naming ourselves Central Texas PPE, not true. Let's test this mask. Whoa, dude, the, 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 the fabric on this mask is weird. It's like a sultry, it's like silky. All right, let's let her rip. And then we'll talk about that. This is a PFE machine, particulate filtration efficiency machine. Check out the link if you wanna know what the heck we're doing here with this fancy equipment. All right, North Texas PPE. But let's take a look at the box. Uh, this is a pretty good product. Uh, they, it's not a soft touch box, but you can tell that they, you know, they, they did some work here to make a nice box. I'm not seeing any claims on the box. Josh, do you see any claims on the listing? No claims on the listing. Check out their website. Go to NorthTexasPPE.com. Uh, these guys, I don't know them, surprisingly. Um, we, we're you know, just down the road uh, from them. They, they seem to be just outside of Dallas. Uh, but they got on Amazon you know, early on, so I don't know much about them. But it seems to be the pretty standard story of an entrepreneur rising to the occasion, uh, trying to help out fellow Texans, fellow Americans. We bought this on Amazon, $10.99. There doesn't seem to be any claims on this. It says it's not intended for medical use. So I like that, they're not, they're not overreaching here with anything. They got a good listing, love it. All right, now the box, let's open this up. So they're, they've got these in a pack of 50. It's actually, a lot of care was taken to how they package this together, I could tell. It's a white on white mask. The only problem with that is you don't actually know what the front is in many cases. And like the, it's very weird. Like it's a weird, it's like stiff. It's stiffer than normal and uh, it's like a silky, I've never, I've never felt a mask like this, which is weird, because I have felt a lot of masks, believe me, me. Um, let's test the uh, elasticity. Oh, come on, North Texas. Gee, okay, that was a fluke, because that is a, I'm gonna give him five, because that one, oh. I mean, I'm pulling on that sucker. I don't think, well, see that one, that first one, if you put that on your face, that would've popped right off. That's gonna happen. But these are good, generally speaking. I mean, if you look at the actual welds, I, I will say like the design and the layout of the mask is impeccable. Like their, their folds and uh, the way that they're doing their cutting. If you're nerding out on, on, on mask stuff, this is a well put together mask and I am really pulling on it. But that one broke right away. It may have been a fluke. Okay, I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give him 10. I'm gonna give him 10. I'm gonna give him 10. Because you know what? I think that was a fluke and it happens. Right, let's put it on. Let's try this. Ear loops are just ginormous. Holy cow. I don't like that. It's a little too big for me personally, but I'm gonna smell this. Um, uh, I am getting like a little bit of a, a, a cardboard uh, smell here. I'm gonna call this cardboard smell uh, moving day. Just like kind of permeates, perme permeates the air. Not a horrible smell, but give them, give them 15 points on that. All right. But does any of that matter if it doesn't protect you? Now remember, this is a weird, weird looking fabric. I have not seen fabric like this before. And I've seen a lot of mask fabric. So very interested to see what this has to say. 83, 83.525. 83.525, that, that's not ideal. Um, I don't like that, uh, you know, but they're not making any claims on the website. Uh, they're not making any claims on the listing or on the box. So they're not pretending like this is a medical device. This is not a medical device, to be clear. Um, I wouldn't wear this mask, but I do appreciate that they responded the way they did. And, you know, at the height of the pandemic, th this was necessary. A mask that blocked 83% was something that was important. Less important now though, and uh, personally I wouldn't, wouldn't use this. But I, I do appreciate what they've done and uh, you know, putting this thing together. Very impressive. All right, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and I will catch you on the next test.